In this video, I'll be checking out a really smart strategy that one of my subscribers came up with that claims to have an amazing 95% success rate, so I want to see if it's really that accurate. I'll be doing some careful testing by going through the strategy a hundred times. I'll be starting with an account balance of $1,000 and making sure the potential rewards are one and a half times higher than the risks I take. To do this testing, I'll be looking at the price of the euro compared to the US dollar, but I'll be focusing on a short time frame of just five minutes. But before that, I want to introduce you to our backtesting service as it makes it very easy and saves you time when backtesting your strategy. Thousands of traders are using Trader Edge to get an edge on their competition. It also has a lot of features that would definitely take you one step ahead of your trading career, just like the position calculator that serves as a great tool for risk management. Are you not sure how to backtest? No worries, you will also get a full step-by-step -step backtesting plan which has a $100 value. Not sure how to build a profitable trading strategy? No worries, you will also get a full course on how to build a profitable mechanical trading strategy, which has a $270 value. And if you sign up right now, they'll even throw in for pre-made high-quality strategies that have a $100 value, that's for $170 worth of bonuses all for free but only if you sign up right now. Trader Edge has a 7-day free trial so there's absolutely no risk. Click the link in the description below. Alright, everyone, let's talk about this strategy that uses two indicators. First, we'll add the SSL Hybrid Indicator to our chart, you can see it right here. But before we get started, we need to adjust its settings a bit. To do that, just click here. On the Inputs tab, change the baseline type to EMA and set the baseline length to 30. Then, go to the Style tab and uncheck everything except for the EMA baseline option. You can also change the colors of the EMA baseline if you like. I usually prefer green for color 1 and red for color 2. This MA baseline helps us know the direction of the main trend, so we only trade in line with that trend. It's a simple moving average indicator that gives us clear signals and can be quite effective. If we look at recent trades, it seems like they could have been quite successful. By the way, this is our first confirmation indicator. Now, for the second indicator, we'll add the MOBO bands by Barrett Denning. We need to adjust its settings too, because we won't be using the zero line. So, let's go to the settings and hide it. On the inputs tab, change the price source to close, and then click OK. All right, everyone, let's go through the trading rules for our strategy. When we want to make a long trade, here's what we'll do. First, we want to see the market trading above the MA baseline, which means it's in a bullish trend. Second, we need the price to pull back and touch the EMA baseline without going below it and closing there. If it does break below the MA baseline, we'll just skip that setup. After the pullback, we want the next signal on the MOBO bands indicator to be a buy signal. This means that the market is breaking out with momentum above the Bollinger bands, indicating a higher chance of going up. If the next signal after the pullback is a sell signal instead, we'll skip that setup too. When all the conditions are met, we'll enter a long trade. We'll set our stop loss at the recent lowest point the price reach, and our take profit targets will be set at 1.5 times the risk we're taking. Now, let's talk about the rules for entering a short trade. It's basically the opposite of going long. First, we want the market to be trading below the EMA baseline, showing a bearish trend. Second, the price should pull back and touch the EMA baseline without going above it and closing there. If it breaks above the EMA baseline, we'll skip that setup. After the pullback, we want the next signal on the MOBO bands indicator to be a sell signal. This means that the market is breaking out with momentum below the Bollinger bands, indicating a higher chance of going down. 
If the next signal after the pullback is a buy signal instead, we'll skip that setup too. In this case, we'll enter a short trade. We'll set our stop loss at the recent highest point the price reached, and our profit target will be 1.5 times the risk we're taking. Take a look. We can see the price pulling back at this point. And the next awaited signal is a sell signal. Since all the conditions are met at this candlestick, we would go ahead and enter another trade at this point. The stop loss and take profit levels remain the same. And we can see that they turned out to be successful. All right, let's talk about some problems we faced with the strategy. Even though there was a long bullish trend with lots of potential, we couldn't make any trades. The issue was that whenever there was a pullback, we didn't enter a trade because the candlestick closed below the MA baseline. This caused a big problem because it meant we went for a long time without making any trades. That's not good especially if we're trying to make quick profits by scalping. Now, we need to do some backtesting to see how well this strategy would actually work. We'll test it in different market conditions to get a better understanding of how it would perform. All right, let's go over the results of the back testing we did. The win rate for the strategy wasn't as high as we expected. It's 60% instead of 95%. But even so, our account size increased by 50% after trying out 100 setups. That means the strategy is making a reasonable amount of profit. The profit factor, which tells us how profitable the strategy is, stands at 2.5. We also noticed a pattern of five wins in a row followed by five losses in a row. All things considered, I think this strategy is pretty decent based on its performance. Now, I'll share some tips on how we can make it even better and more effective. First and foremost, let's address the problem of missing out on trading opportunities when the market is going strong. It's not good that we couldn't make any trades during those times. We need to fix that because it's important to take advantage of those trends. One way to do that is by changing our trend filter. We can use something called an SSL channel indicator. You can keep it at the default settings or make it a bit slower if you want. When we tried out the SSL channel, we immediately saw to trades that made a profit. We noticed that when the price went back up after a drop, that's when we had the right conditions to enter trades. And here's the interesting part. Instead of using recent lows to set our stop losses, we used the lows of the SSL channel. This helped us avoid stop losses and made more profitable trades. Adding the SSL channel to our chart is a smart move because it makes trading safer and improves our results. Now, let's compare the new trend filter with a market that's not moving in a clear direction and instead going back and forth. As we look at the price action, we can see it going sideways. If we check the SSL channel indicator, we notice that it doesn't allow for pullbacks, which actually helps us avoid making any trades during this kind of market movement. It's important to add this SSL channel to your trading tools because it works better in avoiding trades and the market is not going in a clear direction. To sum it up, I have to say this trading strategy is pretty good. But if you want to get even better results, I strongly recommend testing it out with the indicators I just mentioned. Alright, traders, I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.